mopping up the mess Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest She'll be learning how to breathe Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her hand And don't believe a lie Happy Sunday, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily. Welcome. In today's vlog, I honestly don't know what's gonna happen, but get ready with me for church. If you watched my last vlog, then you saw me getting ready for bed and my hair was wet and I had to wait until it was fully dry to go to sleep. This is what my natural hair looks like with no product and brushed out. Let me do my curly hair routine off of camera and I'll be right back to do my makeup with y'all. All right, now that I'm done doing my hair and I look like a wet dog, let's do my makeup for church. I'm gonna give you guys a little life update. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I posted about my mom's diagnosis and thanks to every single person that donated, my mom is now able to have her surgery which is very nerve-wracking but at the same time like i trust god so much that i know everything is gonna be fine and she's just gonna come out of the surgery super healthy obviously yes the diagnosis has really affected us but at the same time we are all still trying to live like just because something is happening in your personal life does not mean that the world stops you know like we still have bills to pay we still have things we need to do and we can't let a diagnosis stop us from living and that has just been my family's mindset ever since we got the diagnosis my mom has really changed her eating habits she's been trying to rest more because my mom is the type of person that goes 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 like she never knows when to stop and relax so this has really helped her relax and take a break from everything which i think after her surgery she's gonna have like a really good balance and she's gonna know like okay i need to take a break so yeah there's that i try not to talk about it too much because when i talk about it i just get sad and i don't like to be sad i have been avoiding talking about it as much as i can just because i don't like to talk about it <laughs> I don't know how life is going to be after the surgery. Like, it's so weird going from being taken care of your entire life to having to take care of the person that took care of you. Like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that. My mom is so young, too, that it's just so annoying. But at the same time, it's good that she's young because she's going to be able to heal so much faster than if they would have caught her cancer at a later stage so there's lots of reasons to be frustrated and annoyed but there's also lots of reasons to be thankful because thank god they caught her cancer at such an early stage other than that my baking business is going really well and then there's school school has been very hectic i really need to wax my eyebrows and do my nails this week because girl i'm trying to be on my self-care kick because i'm stressed enough in my personal life i don't need to be looking crazy okay not that my nose look crazy or my eyebrows but you know what i mean you know what i mean my coffee hits so much better than going to a coffee shop all right i'm done getting ready for church if you don't already know this you need to get basic tops to wear and skirts like that's literally my go-to for church because sometimes i just don't feel like doing too much but with a nice skirt you're doing just enough you know what i mean i literally love this skirt i don't remember where i got it i think i got it at ross or tj maxx and i absolutely love it anyways i think i'm gonna wear these glasses they are prescription as well i'm just tired of wearing the same glasses every single day so these give like a, so these give like a a different vibe but they're cute they're black and gold this is all gold which doesn't match my jewelry but i'm too lazy to change my jewelry so it's gonna stay as it is but this is the vibe for today yeah let's go to church
like 7 o'clock. I took a nap after work and I just woke up like 30 minutes ago or so. Let me tell y'all. I am a nap girly, okay? Like, I need a nap to be able to function, to be able to get things done, all right? So, let me give you all a little brief recap of yesterday. So, yesterday we went to church. Then, after we got home from church, we cleaned up a little bit, prepared for my mom's surgery tomorrow. Then, we got a call from some of our friends asking what we were doing. And they basically convinced us to go out because my mom is having surgery and... We have just been so stressed and worried about her surgery, like not really being able to do much. And my mom's surgery is a six to eight week recovery. So she's not gonna be able to go back to work. She can't drive. She can't do much is my point, okay, for six to eight weeks. And yesterday was her last night being able to eat solid foods for like, I don't know, until they clear her. I don't really wanna talk too much about her surgery because I don't really think it's my business to share. Like obviously it impacts me because I'm her daughter. I need to take care of her. But it's not my business to be telling on the internet, you know what I mean? I'm just sharing a little bit so y'all don't be thinking I'm crazy for vlogging and doing everything that I'm doing. Because even though my mom is having a surgery and everything, she still wants me to be consistent in my personal life. She still wants me to be consistent in my content because it's something that I love to do. So I'm going to do that because one day, glory to God, I'm going to be like at 100,000 subscribers. Like, I'm claiming it now in Jesus' name, okay? We are going to represent him. Three hours later, I finally finish my notes. Okay, and I rave read chapters one through five. Girl, my brain is killing me right now. School is not for the week, let me tell y'all that much. I'm ready for the semester to be over because I'm, 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 I'm just over it. And we're only, what, a month into the semester? Anyways, I really, 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 really want some cookies. I think I have some cookie dough that I made the other day in the refrigerator. They're pumpkin spice. So let's make some of that and then chill for the rest of the night. what's at my house or shall I say who look it's my uncle and my favorite auntie Sash Why you say uncle? sorry <laughs> sorry huh? my favorite uncle is not in the state oh, oh. <laughs> we are about to try the new crumble flavors so so let's do this. She's vlogging for her snapchat. Can you not? Hello. It's been a while, but we're back for this best week that I've had in a while. Can you get out of my face with that? The is so oh, no. Here's the cookies. Yeah. I'm Ariana, aka Yaya. These are the cookies of the week. We have a... Oreo birthday cake, confetti birthday cake. We have a Twix. We have a caramel, I mean, a Snickers shortbread, something, something. And then they gave me this, which is from last week, but I wanted to try it and I didn't have the chance. So, And then a classic pink sugar, which I've also been wanting to try, but haven't been able to. We're gonna try the pink sugar. Pink sugar. We gotta try the more basic ones first. It smells. I don't think I'm gonna like this one. That is not good. <coughs> that is not skibbity. And it's so powerful. That is not like skibbity. It's, so like it's like a wannabe sugar dough sugar cookies with the icing. But it wants to be, but it's not. Next, we're going to do the Snickers shortbread. I was so excited for this one with the way that it looked on. And then. And look at this. What? Sigma. Like, do we? We have to actually. Bro, like, this is not look, Sigma. You can see through the. You, this is see not through. Sigma. What this is, is that? This is not Sigma. Like, why couldn't they just? I don't even know. You guys take a. 
I have to clean this fridge. I cleaned oh, it the no. other day and you're eating it again. Deal. Oh no. I have to just taste like Snickers. Put those in. Oh wait, what do you rate the first one? Oh, Why well, you did that? One. They are the same. I rate it like a three. Oh, Theo, what do you rate this one, the first one? Uh, give it a four. Four. I'm tasting off of the camera. The girls are taking over this review. This is my review. This is, I think, Put it down. Oreo. Put it down. Theo, why do you want to cut my yeah, cookie? Yeah, 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 my baby. Why, but why are you cutting it like that, Roman. Roman, just like a square? Because. Why? How do you yeah, cut a circle into a square? Right? No. Oh, so you cut a piece for yourself. I think I like you're ghetto. Better. That's for you. You're, you're not good. Sigma. Good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. What's your, what's your rating? I can't you give it a scent right away. It is a little yeah. too sweet, but it's, the taste is good. Mm -hmm. It's chocolate. I love chocolate. It is. Seven. I give it an eight. I'm an eight too. I like how sweet it is. What are you guys trying? Maple cinnamon square. Oh, it tastes like a cinnamon bun. A I cinnamon bun. Not even. A four. A cinnamon bun. I give it a four. Not my favorite. Not my I favorite. give it a ten. Are you happy? Okay. That's what it is. Maybe you can't pick right now. <laughs> Boy, go look in the mirror and see how her, your head is shaped. <laughs> what do you rate it? This it's is right on. Birthday cake flavor. Company box cake. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. One out of ten. Um. 6.5. Hey, say bye to the vlog. Bye. Peace. Peace. <laughs>